Yo, what's going on with you guys? So today, I'll be reacting to another JoJo's Bizarre Adventure breakdown by Metas. And it looks like in this video, he's gonna be covering the Killer Queen stand. I think the Killer Queen stand, um, I've seen I've seen a couple clips of this stand um, in other compilation videos I reacted to. I sometimes refer to it as the Black Panther stand, because I feel like, uh, Black Panther had a stand, it'll look just like this Killer Queen stand, just from like how it looks. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the name Killer Queen sounds really intimidating and you know. So I'm really excited to check out this video breakdown done by Metas on the Killer Queen stand. Before I do that, I wanna say one thing. Guys, I see your comments. I may be too loud or how I might be talking over the video. And um, just a lot of different comments about how, um, you know, I react to especially these videos done by Metas, these informative videos. First things first, the only video that I didn't understand was the soft and wet stand that I reacted to. All the other videos I reacted to, um, the stand videos that were, I reacted to by Metas, I understood the whole concept of the stand. So some people were telling me, uh, he's, I still don't get it. Um, trust me, I get it. Even though it might not seem that way throughout my reaction sometimes and my conclusions, it might seem I don't understand, but trust me, I, I get the basic concept of these stands abilities. And secondly, um, I will admit, looking back, I do tend to talk over the audio a lot um, and miss some things. So um, I saw a comment tell me to pause it more often if I want to speak uh, for a long period of time, which I will plan on doing. I appreciate you guys for the honest criticism. That's really important for me. I need that feedback sometimes. So yeah, I promise I'll, you know, I'll make sure to talk less. If I have to say something, I'll make sure to pause the video. What's crazy is I'm not really much of a talker um, in real life. I don't like to talk too much, so it's kind of weird. It's kind of interesting seeing seeing a lot of comments say I talk a lot when in real life I'm really not that talkative. So I only wanted to talk. I only, I'm only talkative for videos, um, just to get a reaction out. But um, yeah, I just wanted to get that off my chest. But uh, appreciate you guys for watching either way. So uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this Killer Queen stand. Usually okay. when I talk about terrifying stands, it's because of their ability. Nice logo for the and having the ability to reset Black the universe understand. through speed and being super mega I mean, OP Queen, busted sorry. and the world's ability to freeze time are terrifying abilities because they can lead to instant death due to their speed and power. But this time around, it's yeah. kind of, you know, not in Killer Queen's favor. The ability to blow stuff up and to make stuff into bombs Ooh. is kind of pretty generic and tropey in the Got explosive abilities, okay. manga and just, you know, writing in general. But here's the thing, the saving grace for Killer Queen. It is not the ability that makes him terrifying, but how his user uses the ability that makes him terrifying. In the terms okay. of JoJo villains, Yoshikage... So, I'm guessing he's trying to say that the user makes the stand in this case? He's saying the, stand, the user of the stand is probably helps the elevate the stand? What he, does. he wants a simple, generic life where he's able to have his hand fetish in a small, quaint town. And with... I'm not gonna lie, um, when, I'm, when I see that guy in different clips, um, I know he's the owner of the... Killer Queen stand, but he doesn't seem too intimidating. Killer Queen by know. his side, he's able to commit atrocities that no human should do. Like, if Josuke used his stand, he'd it be more OP with the stand. Law. Due to Killer Queen's ability to make anything into a bomb, erasing any evidence that's whatsoever. That's crazy. Now, that's pretty damn terrifying. The ability to murder people bomb and taking, not a bomb stand, able that's to fire. any evidence of said murder because of your stand ability and being able to live a peaceful life it's for nice the rest stand, of your though. life, even though you've committed mass atrocities, is pretty goddamn damn terrifying not gonna lie and not to downplay the ability to turn anything to a bomb because that's just like the idea of blowing something up that's terrifying don't get that's super wrong, terrifying in my opinion because that's the more that's the most realistic i'm thinking it's kind of lackluster to a degree but combining with yoshikage's kind of peaceful life and trying to be the second to everything and not trying to be a suspect Backup in character. any case basically means that killer queen is nearly Gonna unstoppable please. oh my what gosh is. but here's the thing damn though, that was fire that it's kind of strange. Gotta go back for that. I'm sorry. Queen Why does a backup character have like an explosive technique like but this? Here's it's just too the OP. Thing, though, that it's kind of stupid talking about this, but you know, it has to be mentioned. Kira doesn't even have to be in the room with you to kill you. Enter wow. your heart attack. One of the most no, okay. OP abilities in all of JoJo. I'm not even joking. I'm not, I'm not even tank? like, I'm, not, I'm going off heck? script with this. I'm not even joking you. Oh my this gosh. Thing. That thing just blew off his hand. OP. Sheer heart attack. A very Sheer small heart, okay. and quaint little, you know, model tank that kind of looks like Killer Queen. Had enough durability that even Star Platinum clip. could barely even scratch it. And I that's was one. I was one. I was wondering what he was doing when I saw this clip in a compilation video. I didn't know what that was. I thought that was. A, I thought that was like a baby toy truck, but apparently that's a whole stand. Either. Sheer heart Part attack of a stand. is an automatic stand. That has the ability to track down a person by their body temperature 
and then okay. proceed to enter their body and explode. I wow. don't really have to explain that's why insane. that's utterly terrifying. Kira already to explain has that. the crazy. ability not to get caught or nearly get caught with Killer Queen. And yeah, he's like he said, he doesn't even have to be in the same room or like in the same vicinity. There always could be the do that technique. That so that's definitely him, beneficial. Know, during one of these murders, with sheer heart attack, you just kind of summon it, sit in the background, and wait till it's done. That's and Loki there tough. You go, your freshly new tough. girlfriend hand. Cure is weird, but Jesus Christ, is he scary. But all villains have their downfall. He's a that villain. Downfall Damn. being Josuke Higashikata and Main the protagonist, yep. Warriors. Killer Queen does seem pretty unstoppable to normal people due to the fact that you A, can't see Killer Queen and his bomb attack. That's crazy. And heart attack to add to that. What you but can't see would we'll definitely kill you in my opinion. All of what Kira can do and, and kill you at least. led to his downfall thanks to Jotaro and Koichi. And you're probably thinking, wow, yeah, I saw this clip. I didn't know what he was doing. Powerful stand users yeah. to defeat Kira. Wow, he is really, really powerful. Look at his you know, fist. Oh my god. I didn't even realize this. So Jojo's uh, his fists were getting fucked up after after pulverizing that thing for like wow, so many he is times. Really, really powerful. I think you know where I'm going with this. Bites the dust. After being pierced by the arrow a second time, Kira has gained a new stand ability. That stand ability oh, another stand? Being bites the dust and its ability to loop time. Well, how do you activate bites the dust? Well, if you speak Yoshikage Kira's name to anybody, the ability automatically activates and it kills said person that you talk to and then loops your day. Oh this my god, that's is most insane. likely infinite okay. due to the fact that it keeps on looping until you stop saying Yoshikage Kira's name until probably death. We've Damn. only seen it, you know, work for a That's limited crazy. amount of time in the anime and manga, but you could probably presume that it works until you die. And the only way to stop it is by not saying Yoshikage Kira's name or Kira deactivates okay. the ability. So I'm thinking if you don't say his name, oh, I feel like it should be good. Oh, and you think a time loop isn't scary? Oh, hold up, hold up. Hold time up. loop is Let definitely scary. Let me talk scary. about Stray Cat then. Kira okay. in part four eventually finds a cat what the heck that is has that? the ability to make pressurized air bubbles. And when realizing this, he proceeds to transform into a human plant into a human his own stand, which is standception, which is also kind of freaky. Why is it he in the stomach? He to use the pressurized air bubbles in combination with his first bomb, that being his bomb manipulation, and makes okay. pressurized air air bubble bombs which Ooh. cannot be seen by the regular eye and i like kuma a little bit but like upgraded from one piece said, you guys know kuma's ability isn't very terrifying so i'm thinking of its power well it's by crazy. the end of part four yeah that statement is kind of wrong because killer queen at the end of part four is ridiculously overpowered and in Damn. combination with yoshikage kira's mindset and he's supposed to be like a background character a secondary four, character he is that's what i'm saying though i don't know if you guys notice this but in anime usually um the main protagonist is cool, right? But like usually the second, third, the antagonist sometimes, they usually tend to be the yeah, most badass characters in my opinion. That's what I tend to find. But the why Kira failed in his fight against Josuke is because Kira can't fight at all. Kira the Queen oh, is not a fighter. Damn, that's his downfall. Well, crazy how, are you, how are you in JoJo's and can't well, fight for real? Like, I feel like that's your the biggest L. You can't fight. Close. So and that we don't stand a chance because that's all they do in this show from what I can tell. Queen. In the end, Killer Queen from part four with a combination of Kira by his side are a extremely powerful... I mean, he said he doesn't, he doesn't want to be a fighter like he wants to be a background being character. beaten by Hayato thanks to his no way and his resolve to find out about... Got beat up by this little well, kid. Well, that's about it when it comes to Killer Queen. So uh, I think that's the end of the video. Yeah, no, we still got, okay, still got some part eight because that's a thing. Now, Killer Queen in part eight doesn't change. Yeah, why is he standing like that? Visually speaking, but when it comes to his powers, yeah, nah, he is not. Oh my his gosh! His explosions are bigger and no. seen by normal people. He has a sheer heart attack. That's that devastation. Has more okay. Than one sheer heart attack and can be remotely controlled by Kira himself. And with and those tank stands, worry, interesting. This version of Kira isn't an insane serial killer. He's actually more Jotaro based. You see. Oh, in interesting. The universe, Character development. Takes place in, Steel ball run weird bizarre even and so that means kira i mean that's the name of the show bizarre adventure insane crazy maniac going around morio killing people he actually i just realized he has a tie with his stand um face on it that's cool doctor and to be more like that's loki he actually works on um, boat federal because people can know who you are and a joe star wow part eight is fucking weird but let's go back to killer queen when comparing both base killer queens it's clearly obvious which one's better it's yoshikage kira's insert funny joke here but no it's from part eight the part eight killer queen is way better due to the sheer okay. heart attack ability of controlling it remotely with yourself and not just letting it automatically do whatever it wants 
it's way better. But the one downside being to Part 8 Killer Queen's bomb ability compared to the Part 4 version is that the bombs are in bubbles. That being a direct parallel to when we heard about that earlier on. Had Stray Cat. Basically meaning oh, wait, that the different. first bomb has been removed and has been replaced by a totally original idea that kind of fuses concepts together. And that really just sums up Part 8 Killer Queen. It's just an okay. overall better and more I guess they just tweaked it a little bit. Fusion it more of Killer um, Queen advanced. bombs and abilities, but done a lot better. Except for one thing. Killer Queen from Part 8 doesn't have Bites the Dust. What if I were to make Ooh, bite, don't have that? a theoretical fan theory that the Rokaka has the ability to upgrade stand ability similar to how the stand arrows have the same ability to Those stand arrows well. are fire. If I were a Rocky and was going to make a one-shot what if fan theory version of the Vitamin C fight, this is how I would make it go down. During the torture scene in this arc, mm, I was this girl on the beginning. To wear a Rokaka and wait a minute, what the heck just During happened? During the torture scene what in the this arc, he just I inserted a dollar bill in his forehead? Kakaka mysteriously just shows up I think it's a vending machine? Hands because of plot convenience. And when he oh, eats plot. it, he gains a new ability. Assuming that Rokakakas can actually give you a enhanced ability. He proceeds to shoot out a small bubble bomb. It makes contact with Tamaki and nothing happens. The to be fuck honest, is this Tamaki character? barely even notices something has His hairstyle was so form. trash. This was during the time where he was kind of torturing Joseph Fumi. He notices Ooh. that Kira has done something and proceeds to Oh, he's crying people. too. He does, his body begins to go up in flames and completely disintegrate, causing Vitamin C's ability to stop. He then proceeds okay. to look at the other rock humans and say, well, looks like he just bit the dust. Now this version- So is that where the phrase, um, the guy bit the dust. I've heard that phrase used a lot. I've never said that myself, but I've heard it a lot. I took in parts of the original Bite to Dust and put the elements into Killer Queen's first bomb ability. It's kind of a mess. Ooh, what the heck? Two, what I've really he just came out of his body. Took out the time loop ability of Bite That's to Dust disgusting. Out of it since it's not needed here. And I've slightly modified it to where Killer Queen doesn't need to touch you. It has to be the bubble. Now, why did he blow up? As we know, the original Bites of Dust ability blew you up because you told somebody Yoshikage Kira was a serial killer. The bubble already kind of has an idea of what Kira wants, and so in this hey, that's here, fire. Tamaki activated it because Kira wrote down in the bubble, or kind of like put it in the bubble with his mind. He is made that like a death note? Where, where they harm him? Wait, would blow that was... in the bubble with his he mind. wrote his name he in his bubble. Made it to where if Fine, that's crazy. Would harm him, it would blow the person like an up. upgrade from the of death course, no. this effect lasts forever just like the original bites of dust ability that's and crazy the only way to stop this new bites of dust is to well never interact with kira ever because it Yo, doesn't have an that sounds great easier said than done so get rid of it it's so you're basically saying if you don't ever see him or interact with him you should be fine but forever you see him as ggs just looking at him so yeah i just basically made a extremely more terrifying version of a that is super super terrifying, terrifying. of killer queen jesus Jesus Christ. Damn, I'm that's maniac. insane. Well, I think that wraps up the video. I basically talked about all of Killer Queen's abilities and made a more terrifying version of Killer Queen. Pretty so, much. He yeah. was already and sounding OP uh, before, like, but share, subscribe. this part Call 8 sounds crazy. See you in the next one. Okay, so yeah, that was a pretty interesting breakdown of the Killer Queen stand. Um, the, the Killer Queen stand, um, he already, already looks super terrifying just before I even watch this video, but um, as I, but yeah, as Metis was breaking down on the Killer Queen stand, uh, yeah, this Killer Queen stand is super tough and super OP in my opinion. That ability to like, you know, blow people up is crazy to me i love that i love seeing that in anime i love seeing that you know ability being used that's like one of my that's like one of my favorite you know abilities um the ability to blow up people and, and also like fire and lightning abilities i like those abilities in animes but yeah i don't know but yeah this stand breakdown was really fire um it was really interesting how he broke it down it was really interesting how he broke it down into two different parts how he broke down the first stand which is in the anime um i haven't got i haven't seen him in the actual anime yet and he also broke down part eight of the killer queen stand which is even more op if i'm being completely honest though, i don't think this stand stands a chance against um my favorite stand so far, which is either you guys Giovanna stand or also uh, Made in Heaven, um, Pucci stand. Um, those two are obviously on a different level, but uh, this stand is low key. Um, more, I don't want to say more realistic, but like um, if you're taking if you're taking out like super super OP abilities like God tier abilities, if you take away those, I feel like he'd be up there because it's like just a regular you know ability to blow things up. Which I think it's pretty cool, but um, against God tier stands, obviously it doesn't stand a chance in mind. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see him in action in the actual anime. And um, yeah, that's all I got for this reaction. If you guys are new, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and we're out.